Yeah, so my background is I, I grew up in Toronto, actually, in Scarborough. Um, I uh, went to U of T undergrad, and then I did graduate studies there as well, PhD, and then I went to Memorial Sloan Kettering in the States to do a postdoc. Uh, since then, I've been an a independent investigator, first at Hospital for Sick Children, and now at the Samuel Lunenfeld Research Institute. Um, the idea for Dynamo actually came up uh, when we started to think about how we could understand uh, you know, understand on a global scale protein interaction networks and whether we could try and use that information of these, these large networks that are being built uh, to understand better what's going on in cancer. And so that's when we started to think about whether the dynamics of those networks might be uh, altered on a global scale. And um, that led to our uh, integration of gene expression array data uh, with protein interaction data. Uh, so the first study that we did was on bre uh, breast cancer. We were able to show that uh, we could uh, predict outcome in breast cancer uh, as a function of the altered modularity of the protein network. And since then we've now gone on and looked at other cancers um, such as follicular lymphoma, retinoblastoma, osteosarcoma, and we're now looking forward to trying to look at uh, prostate cancer and bladder cancer. That's a really good point because um, we've been starting to think about that a little bit more. Uh, and so one area that we've actually started to look at is uh, inflammatory bowel disease uh, to see whether changes in gene expression might uh, predict uh, progression of the, of the disease. Yeah, I think that's, some, that's an area that we're very interested in getting into is to try and understand whether uh, Dynamo might allow us to better predict a response to drugs and perhaps, yeah, maybe res res resuscitate uh, some failed drugs. Hopefully it'll look like something. <laughs> but I think what it's going to look like is that I think it's going to uh, come along with um, uh, genome-wide analysis of, of individual patients' RNA levels in tumors. I think that's going to be, become thus the standard that, that people will apply. I think that uh, this will link to uh, uh, proteome-wide analysis of protein levels in, in tumors and in, in, in other diseases, as well as um, proteome-wide analysis of post-translational modifications of proteins. So I think that you know, within five to ten years, we're going to see a tr tr uh, transformation of how we view um, human cancer. <laughs>